Yo, the front of your body, especially your belly, is the place where your energy meets the energy of the world. When the front of your body is open and relaxed, your power flows freely and your presence fills the room. If the front of your body has accumulated tension throughout the day, you will hardly be able to sit up straight. Your belly and chest will be tight. Your thoughts will center on yourself. Your energy will remain constricted in your head and your awareness limited to self-concern. Your powerful presence won't fill the room at all. You might not even be noticed. Right now, notice your breath. Are you inhaling so deeply you feel your genitals bulging slightly? Is your belly rising and falling with your inhale and exhale like a mighty bellows? Your belly and lower abdomen are special places of power. If your breath don't reach these areas, you cannot recharge your batteries. Inhale deeply. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale. Inhale deeply through your nose again. And breathe through whatever tensions you notice in your body. Inhale deeply into your lower belly. Then exhale. On your next inhalation, breathe through your lower and upper belly. Then exhale. On your next inhalation, fill your entire belly and then your solar plexus and lower chest. Then exhale. Then inhale and fill your belly, solar plexus and your entire chest in that order. And then exhale. For several breaths, inhale fully in this way, filling your lower belly all the way down to your genitals, then the rest of your belly, solar plexus and finally your chest. Then exhale fully, slowly and smoothly. Like filling a balloon, you can stretch open the entire front of your body with your inhale. Throughout the day, as soon as you feel tension in the front of your body, inhale into that area and open it. Your breath is a primary expression of your personal energy, therefore, your breath is one of the primary ways to give your gift to the world. You can use your breath to open the other people's knot of tension. Just as you can open your own knot of tension. Suppose you are with a person who seems a little tense. You can allow yourself to feel his tension and inhale into his tension just as if they were yours. Inhale and open his tension with the force of your inhalation, then exhale and release all the tension, yours and his. All of this occurs without any physical contact. In fact, he probably don't have any idea that you are doing anything unusual whatsoever. You could do this practice at work, at school, with your lover, in a crowd, on a bus, while you are waiting outside in the public places. If you're alone in your home, you could imagine all the tensions in the world and exhale the force of life into this tension to open it up as you inhale. And then exhale, releasing the tension into the love so that it can be dissolved. By practicing this form of breathing, you uncurl your attention from yourself alleviating the nodes of contraction in the front of your body. Do them. Do this inhale and exhale, deep breathing through your belly, and find out the results for yourself. Feeling the unease of others, open their nodes 
with the force of your inhale and then let your knots dissolve with the release of your exhale even now in this moment inhale down into the front of your belly fully expanding your belly and opening your solar plexus and heart allow your fullness of force to expand outwards through the room and beyond the room as fuck bro I felt light as fuck like during mid meditation I meditated for six five minutes around that but look at my ass bro some boxer apps hi Mike Tyson what's me big pig make me hi Mike Tyson hi I'm Kiwi hi I'm Kiwi yo <laughs> Look at me flexing, bro. The, the angle is so bad, bro. Like, my finger is looking bigger. So, during my mid meditation, I felt very light. Like, as the wind was blowing, right? The wind is blowing a lot right now. I'm not sure if you can hear the wind, but. During my mid meditation, I, I felt like I was floating this side, bro. My mind was floating. Look at those biceps, bro. Look at those biceps. Look at those veins, bro. Look at... Oh, my. <laughs> it's just a different feeling you get after... What the fuck, where's my... So it's just a different feeling you get after meditating. It's just... Like, especially when you consistently meditate. Not only... It's not a quick fix, right? Then we're gonna be a fish. And do not bother when your like stomach is looking like weird shaped because all this all these Instagram kind of like all, like models I should say these fitness influences fitness influences and fitness modelers like they will show you all these apps and like perfect perfect eight six packs eight packs they'll show you all this stuff but in reality most of the people their apps are not symmetrical it's just it's just disappointing at some point but you must realize that not everything you see online is not is you must realize that not everything you see online is real it's it's normal for your stomach to look weird when you're meditating when you're breathing even the right way when, even when you're breathing the right way your stomach is supposed to be like very like weird like this like just think about it like during those early human days like you know for a fact that early humans were like high testosterone those hunters gatherers evolutionary those past days they were all like high testosterone motherfuckers right did they have a perfect six pack did they have a perfect six pack or did they even care about how your stomach looks rarely barely barely like it's really the case most of the case what you'll see is they'll have this big body and a big gut like a fucking big gas tank where you breathe oxygen with it and let me tell you oxygen is the fuel it's been like three months i still can't pronounce this word fuel fuel it's like oxygen is the fuel of your body for your body for your energy for your strength it's fine if your stomach looks weird just it doesn't always have to be six pack right you can always meditate while flexing this way sometimes it's gotta be weird to see that's how it looks down there that's how it looks far away i live in like india i live in india so what I, where I stay is kind of like a suburban. I'm not gonna tell you the exact address, but just for my privacy. Just for my privacy, right? Live in India. That's how it is out here, boys. Improve your life. One step at a time. One step at a time. <laughs>